Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In today's video, we'll be discussing five Java developer interview questions. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer, these questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I've pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, mockquestions.com. Now let's get started. Question number one, what are the key elements of the Java programming language? This is the type of question an interviewer will use to begin the conversation, learn more about your background, and collect information they can use throughout the interview. This question also provides you the opportunity to direct the interview towards a subject area that you are familiar with and comfortable responding to questions about. Throughout the interview, keep your answers brief and to the point. This will encourage the interviewer to ask follow-up questions about the same topic or move on to a new subject. There are several key features of the Java programming language. First, it is simple to learn. Next, Java is somewhat object-oriented and enables programmers to manage their code using objects. Several other key features of Java include its portability, platform independence, security, and the large library of code available to programmers. Question number two, within Java, what are the differences between path and class path variables? This is a common format of a technical question. Technical questions ask you about concepts or items related to the work you do. They sometimes ask you to compare similar concepts or to describe how they are used. When answering technical questions using this format, you should first define the terms you were asked about. You then either compare them or describe how they are used. You may provide an example if it helps illustrate your answer. Both path and class path are environmental variables which the operating system uses to locate executables. The OS locates the executables in a directory location, which is defined by these variables. The difference between a path and class path variable is that a class path is very specific to Java and can be defined as a directory, zip file, jar file, or another type of variable. Question number three, can you discuss what a static import is and what the pitfalls of using this are? This technical question asks you to first define the concept and then describe some features of its use. Static import is the process of importing the class and the method variable with the class name from another class. This makes the class available. The pitfall of using this methodology is that it may cause confusion if it is overused and thereby trigger the program to malfunction. Question number four. When programming in Java, can you have an empty catch block? This is an example of an operational question. Operational questions evaluate specific elements used in your job. Like technical questions, answers to operational questions should be brief and to the point. You should also anticipate follow-up questions if the interviewer needs additional information or wants to explore the topic in more detail. While you can use empty catch block while programming in Java, it is not advised. The problem this creates involves debugging the program if the empty catch block were to catch an exception. There will not be any information about the exception. Finding an issue with no information in the log can be very time consuming. Question number five, can you discuss the importance of the main method in Java? As a Java developer, you can anticipate that most of the questions you will be asked during an interview will be technical. The best way to prepare for these is to review the concepts used in Java programming and understand the processes, libraries, tools, and methodologies Java developers use. Being familiar with these will help you prepare for the questions you are likely to be asked. The main method, as it is used in Java, provides programmers with an entry point for any code they are writing. It defines a syntax to run a program within the Java language. It also enables Java to access the code without initializing a class. The value contained within the parentheses is an array of string related to runtime arguments. Thank you for watching. If you want more Java developer interview questions and answers, visit us at mockquestions.com.